meters through one billion. So we're going to start with some vocabulary first. And our first vocabulary word is period. A period is a group of three digits. So if we're looking at our example number today, we can see that our first period is going to be right here. It's my first three digits and it's separated by a comma. When I'm working with numbers, remember my place value always starts from the right and then I work my way to the left to get to greater place values. So this is my first period. It's my first group of three digits and this is my ones period. Okay, my next group of three digits is going to be a new period and this is my thousands period. Okay, so you can see I have three numbers, which was a period. So I put a comma, which shows that I'm starting a new period. Now I'm in the thousands. Then I'm going to have another comma because I'm starting a new period. And this is going to be my millions period. And then my next period, I only have one digit in there, and that's okay. It does have three place values in this period, but we just have one for today, especially um, in fourth grade. We only go through the billions place. So this would be my billions. So real quick, just to refresh, I'm going to go through the names of these place values. So this is my ones, tens hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, and then I would have ten billions and hundred billions, but like I said, we're just going to stop at the billions place value today. So that is a period. It's a group of three digits, and we talked about millions. This is a um, might be a new word for fourth grade. You might have heard it before, but um, you might not have um, added or subtracted within this period. So we are, um, the millions vocabulary word is talking about this period right here of three digits. And then as well, billions, same thing. And digit. It's important to know that the difference between digits and numbers. Okay, a digit is a numeral. Here's an example of a digit. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These number, these digits don't have values yet because they're not in a place value. They're just a digit. Now, how does a digit become a number? You put it in a place value. So if I put a digit on the board, okay, that's a digit. But if I put it in a place value, now it is a number. It is the number 70. Okay. So just keep that in mind as we're working. Um, it's a digit until it's put in a place value then it is a number. So, how do we read numbers through one billion? I mentioned that we started our place values on the right and we worked to the left. That's least place value to greatest place value. However, when we are saying the word, we are going to read it like we would read a book. We're starting with the left with our greatest place value and we read to the right. And what we do is we say the, the digit and the place value. So we're basically naming the value. So this is a one digit, and it is in the place value of billions. So I would start by saying one billion. Then I name the next val place value, which is going, or the next digit, which is a three, and I say the place value that it's in, which is hundred millions. Okay, and so on and so forth. So this number would be read as 1,356,039,763.
So you can see that it's important to know which period I'm in when I am naming a number because I'm going to say the digits with the period that the numbers are in. Okay? We're also going to work through different forms of numbers. So as I just said, I read that out loud. That's word form. Okay, so I'm going to write that for you now. My first digit in my first period was 1 billion. So I would write 1 billion, comma, just like I have in my number, 356 million It is important that when we are writing a number that is two digits like 56 or 45 or 21 that we have that hyphen. So it was 356. So I'm adding that hyphen, 56. This is the millions period. And then I'm putting a comma because I'm now moving into the thousands period. And I have 39,000. And again, this is going to be hyphenated. And now I'm ready for my last period. And so I say this number as 763. So there is my word form for this number. Now, expanded form means I'm going to stretch this number out and I'm going to show what each place value is worth. Okay, so I'm going to start with my largest place value again. And this is 1 billion. In this number, in my billions place, I have 1 billion. So I would write 1 billion. I'm writing the number. One billion. Oops. That's not enough. Sorry. One billion. There we go. Plus, because that's not all I have. I have other place values in this number. I have 300 million. Plus, I still have more place values. 50 million plus six million plus now I don't have anything in my hundred thousands place I have my digit is a zero so that's showing me I don't have any hundred thousands so I don't have to write it in my expanded form. I can go to the next place value, which is 10,000. But I don't just have 10,000, I have a three in that place value. So I have 30,000. Plus 9,000. Plus, I'm ready for my next period now which I have a seven in the hundreds place. So 700 plus 60 plus three. So what this is basically saying, if I did all this math, if I added up all these numbers, I would have the number that you see on the board. All I did was stretch this number out and show you what I had in each place value. Okay? So expanded notation is similar to expanded form. Okay? It just is going one step further. So what I'm going to do for expanded notation is I'm going to show what digit I have times the place value that it's in. So my first digit I have is a 1. And I'm going to multiply that 
by the place value it's in. It's in the billions place. And then I'm going to put that in parentheses. Okay? So you can see it's similar to my expanded form. I'm just showing you I have 1 times the place value because I have one, the digit 1 in there. Going to the next place value, I don't have a 1, I have a 3. So I have 3 times this place value, which is 100 millions. So I would write plus 3 times 100 millions. Okay? Plus, going to my next place value, I have a 5 digit. And I ask myself, I have five of them, but what are they? They're 10 millions. So five times 10 million plus six, six what? Six millions plus. So I'm ready for my next place value. I have a three digit in the ten thousands place, so I will write three times ten thousand plus my next digit is a nine and it is in the thousands place, so nine times one thousand plus seven in the hundreds place plus a 6 in the tens place, plus a 3 in the ones place. Okay, so now I have finished my expanded notation. So again, this was numbers through 1 billion. Thanks so much and have a great day.